I think it's three PS4s. All right. All together. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, is welcome. This is Shade Streams. Uh. Today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. Today, uh, also we're here with Sin Kuzanaki, who's kind of become the new new Mika of this of this uh, streaming series, I guess. I know Mika. <laughs> I mean, I know Mika was under the weather a bit. Mm. And I know he's busy. Um, I hope he's. I hope he's feeling better. Well, I think he's better now. Same, I messaged same him earlier. thing with uh, Anna. Yeah. Uh. Any. Anyway, so we're gonna do something different. This looking glass was, uh, okay, so I actually graduated from Foley Sale University in 2018, about three years ago. I studied in game design. I have not found work in there, and honestly, I'm not, not finding work, looking for work there anymore. So this is actually the final project uh, my teammates and I worked on. Actually, a, a, it, actually that's kind of true. We had a build of this, but we decided to continue and release it on itch.io. Itch uh, there's act. I, I, I think I did think put a download link if you guys want to download it for yourself. It's pretty short. So I thought it'd be fun, especially since, well, I, one, I didn't know what I wanted to stream this week after we finished Mario Party. And um, I thought that um, um, it'd just be fun and interesting to do. I mean, I remember playing this game multiple times because testing and all that. Um. I don't have it up right now because you see it's very loud. I can change the audio later when we get into the game itself, but yeah, it's a little drowning, especially with uh, Sin over here. So, yeah, so. Uh, let's look at the credits. Uh, there's me, looking for Monica. There's also Marin. She was the one that came up with the initial pitch. Christopher did a lot of the um, script thing for most of the major stuff. And then all the people worked at Tamago, Mango Logan, some art, and then the sound, and then various teachers and that kind of stuff helped us out. And all the sound sources, good lord. Anyways, so, uh. Alright, just checking to make sure uh, this bear stuff. So, the. I guess you'll figure out what the concept of this game is as we get along to it. So, anyways, uh, let's get started. This is this is probably not going to be a very long stream, uh, since we will, uh, it, it'll probably only take a little over an hour, though you guys are very much welcome to, uh, ask questions if you want about, about the process and that kind of stuff. I can't say I'll answer everything, because it has been a while, but still, uh, I turned down the volume, but if it ever gets too loud for you guys, uh, just, uh, like if you can't hear the the game over us, just please let me know and I'll fix it. Wait, what the hell? I'm responding. Yeah, that was weird. That was like that was e what color is your underwear? Smack! Yeah, nice try. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that faded in. Alright. So. Okay, that just spawns a new So. Um, you went, you went to full sale as you just said, yeah. correct? Yeah. What were you, what company were you really hoping to get into once you graduated? I, I don't know. I would, I, I'm not sure if I can truly say. Okay, so. Okay, so that did the bars. But, uh-oh, there's a wall here. There's a line over there, so what are we gonna do? Part. Interestingly, even, even though I suck at puzzle games, most of the games we worked on while we were full cell were puzzle games. I don't know why. Uh, of last charge. I barely play puzzle games. Um, I I was always an action man, or and lately an RPG man. Right. But I don't know why. But there was always one uh, sort of series that I want get into, which is sort of a puzzle game, um, the Ace Attorney series. Yeah, I wouldn't mind trying at some point. Okay, okay, for some reason, the uh, word game's been freezing here, so I'm gonna quickly exit out and go back in, just to be safe. Right. Um, one of, one of the games that I might want to give a try is the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. 
Okay. Which doesn't really correlate to any of the main games, because it's actually... Lee, you're following the footsteps of one of uh, Phoenix Wright's ancestors. Uh, yes, Moonstar, it is a puzzle. Also, thank you come by. Okay, uh... So decided to change the aspect ratio a bit. It's, uh, got pretty big, so let's make that fit that. inside here. Inside. Here we go. Anyways. Now, hopefully, uh... Uh... Hopefully there won't be freezes like that. Sorry about that, guys. This is not the most prof Yeah, as you can tell, this is not the most professional game. This is just supposed to be something like, to help us get off the floor. Um, actually, I remember, um, at the university, some professor said, was like, even if you can't get something game design, some of the stuff you will lo uh, learn will be useful. Other stuff, like, uh, one of my professors, um, does a lot of, uh, does a lot of stuff for, um, li like simulations for the military. That's what he worked on a lot. Mm -hmm. Alright, so as you see, I uh, wanted the main mechanics is like seeing some of the mirrors that's not there. Well, that is there, but you can't see in real life. Here it is! Um, what script, what scripting did you have to work with? Game Maker or C Sharp? C Sharp. Uh, the model was actually oh, based upon uh, the girl who uh, came up with the initial pitch for the game, and uh, uh, Christopher, uh, the, one of the guys on the uh, credits, did up doing like a lot, and uh, tripping a lot of the major systems. So everyone deserves credit. I think those two uh, uh, probably put in some of the most effort. I actually did a lot of level design, but not a lot. Of, but not all the levels made. Alright, uh, yeah, so speed running aspect, I suppose. There we go. Jeez, a little. Oh, mirror. Let's see what happens. And we're dead. Dead. No big surprise. I think this is one of the ones I worked on. I think. I don't know. There's a lot of levels we had to toss out, sadly, due to, like, not being very good puzzles. Like I said, I guess that's part of the whole iteration thing. Yeah, that hub one we actually... I think that was supposed to be, going to be much more in-depth, but it didn't end up being that. Because we didn't have the time. We want to focus on other stuff. Ah, huh? uh, yes, we're starting to introduce more of the mechanics. Let's pick this, this up. And what happens when we look away? Oh no! Jump scare! No. <laughs> what is your opinion on jump scares as a whole? <laughs> but fear is one of the greatest sens sensories of all. If you can channel it, it can make a good. It can be made into a good feeling. But um, but when it comes to jump scares, sure they're fast. They're fast, but they're kind of cheap, as a lot of people would say. I, know, I heard a comparison of, like, it's basically the horror version of a fart. Yeah, basically. All right, this is cool. And, don't get me wrong, I, I will laugh at a fart joke once in a while, if it's done right. <laughs> right. But, it gets old. Hence the name of the game, Looking Glass. Yeah, uh, more later. Uh, so this, uh, this is purple, so I don't know, so I forget what this does. I think, like, if it's purple, you can pass through stuff. Oh, uh, see? So we gotta look at it and enter the door. Oh. 
Are you ready for Christmas, Shade? Understandable. Yeah, yeah li life can real life has really cha changed now, and lots of people are kind of desensitized by the hall with the holidays and all that stuff. I try to stay in the jolly mood, but then you you really feel the burn sometimes. I don't even think it's that. Oh, hmm. Claustrophobic's worst nightmare. You've played Dongan Ranpa, correct? Or no? no. Ah, okay. I recommend it. If you want to do a playthrough on it, but yeah, that's really up to you as as yourself. If you're into the whole mystery games and all that stuff. Oh yeah, Persona Four has a good. Oh, go ahead. <clears throat> no, you're fine. Um. Plus you'd have me Plus you'd have me in the backseat metagaming. Uh I've watched uh Comic Foils playthrough with the green scorpion on on that and yeah P4 Golden is a long game. But also it's kind of more of a takeaway from what the original P4 stood for. Mainly mainly with the addition of uh, Marie. Is that basically what Sumire was with Persona 5? Um Sumire kinda was, but then there was the um you played Royal, correct? Yes. Um, though the therapist was also the part of that too. But they were actually quite... But the difference being that these characters were a bit more enjoyable than Marie was. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate Marie as a character. It's just that she kind of felt shoehorned in. While Sumire kind of... Well, even though we did meet meet Sumire quite, quite in the game and she felt natural, yeah, it was more likely she was more obscured towards love interest Honestly, faculty. I like Sumire as a character, but I kind of like, dislike how she was meant as the, uh, how, how they kind of treated her like, like she was supposed to be love interest, like, no, no, in a game where you can, like, choose multiple love interests, oh wait, oh, that disappears, that I forgot that was an imperial window. Anyways, the, the, like, you can choose a number of women you wish to date. And what are, not all of them I recommend. Look at the teacher. She's far too old for you. And has too many implications. <laughs> yeah, that's I would have cut I would have technically went for Takemi if I had the chance. Uh, but no, I went with Baba. In which, uh, the whole thing is that she's, they're saying that she's too young, but here's the thing. You're playing as Renamamia, which is the actual canon name for the protagonist, or Akira, or Akira Kurasu, if you read the manga. Um, there is a manga. Um, I think I prefer the manga over the anime because the anime felt very rushed. I did not hear. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these NPC characters who just move around. No. We didn't exactly. Yeah, uh, yeah, we didn't have. We didn't really spend much time on these. It's characters. like they're doing nothing at all. 
Nothing at all! <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, where was, where was I going with it? Oh yeah, 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 back, Utaba, um, so yeah, they're saying she's too young, but in the, you're playing as the shoes of, a teenager. of, uh, yes, in which he, she is in his league, and I know people will hate this argument, but in Japan, the age of consent is for is actually 14. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm not comfortable with that. I, my, I know. Right, I, I, uh, I... Oh, hey, Pug. Welcome aboard. Pug! Yeah, but... If, you, if the two characters dating are the same age, I... I, I feel like that's an exception. Ren is like, actually one. Ren is one year older than Futaba. Right, so it still kind of works. But there's also like, is she would be that be her sister and all that? Since I don't know, he's a so, 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 so is like a father figure, but he's not really your dad. No, he's not. Um, he's just a friend of friend of your family. But if you technically would have married Futaba, you would you would technically be your father. Oh, I in forgot, law. I forgot there was a slight animation with these filters. In which, at first you said don't go chasing a chasing after Futaba, but then he then ponders to himself, well actually, maybe maybe it wouldn't be so bad to have you as a son. <laughs> if you went through his social link. And which at first it was a pain because his social link wouldn't go up that much. But I was so glad I took the time and finished it before time was up. I mean, I kind of had to like do mo a lot with it if I wanted to date Futaba in the game. Anyways, next mm -hmm. is, uh, what do you have to say? Um, I believe you needed at least kindness level four to uh, finish finish all of Futaba's ranks. Things with white borders have filters changed. Ah, uh, yes. In your opinion, what makes a good villain? Well, I suppose there's a number of things. Like, with a villain, you're, with, when you're trying to make a villain, you're often aiming for different things. Hmm. How so? Well, sometimes you want to be... What the... Okay, jeez, what's what, what's... Sorry, folks, with, like, these random stars and that kind of stuff. I don't know why. Oh, okay, now we're getting to something different now. Like, sometimes you want to intimidate, sometimes you're trying to, sometimes you're trying to want to be funny. But I guess, like, the worst thing you can make is your villain is forgettable. Very true. That is, and that is a cardinal sin when it comes to writing villains. Bumpy bumpy. Outside editor, when you have a like a thing, you made it a 
proper fill uh, pile, the proper villain good motivation, pure destroy, cavity, of course, nice game, monotonous. Uh, having your villain that can relate or understand the goals makes everything better. I mean, sometimes, I mean, sometimes it doesn't hurt just to have a good campy villain. I mean, we're a little lacking in those. Like, sometimes you can get, like, uh, monotonous, but if you give them an entertaining enough personality, I think they can save them if they don't have the best motivation. Yes. But, oh, every time, um, Disney decides to make a, uh, relatable villain, um, how do I put this? Uh, they, they kind of go a little overboard with, with all, all that. Like, they keep on doing it over and over and over again. Um, latest, yes, in which Cruella is the latest. That latest iteration. It it's a good it's a good movie, yes, yes. But when you sometimes you don't when it comes to um, uh, making the villain be like I'm bad because this person did this to me. Then what about what about the how about the other way around where what why is that person so bad and what what happened to them? And it, and it keep, if it keeps on going so on and so forth, the, you're in a whole paradox right there. Okay, I'm remembering this, but, but you know what? Thinking about it, I really should have made more types of these glass shards because really, it's just the same thing over and over, just resize and all that. Yeah. Oh, what's your name? Oh, that's the same one. The mirror was once beautiful, but now it's been shattered. If like uh, I did turn the I did turn like the oh turn it down a bit more yeah sorry if you like if you can't hear like us like the voices over each other then just please let us know. Another thing, what, um, what, ma what makes a good female character? Writing them as an actual character. Exactly. A lot of things that Disney keeps on having trouble with. Fiery Joker one actually made um a little thing that kind of mimic mimic that the literature devil kind of does. Uh, I was wondering if that's what you got, got from. Yeah. 
Um, in which he makes a point there. A lot of villains keep on going toward. A lot of characters keep on go going towards um, the Tragos type of storytelling. In which that kind that kind of in which the nah, mama me I'm losing my words. And the game broke um, again. Hold on a sec. Give it a second. There we go. Um. I just went back around. To which the characters are con constantly trying to justify their means by being like, I've been wronged, therefore I deserve this. Sorry, I look like a base number four puck game. Yes, that was one of the main inspirations, if I'm correct. I know with like, I know with uh, lo like, especially when pitching game, you want to do a lot of things I hear is like, bl it's blank, but like, but, th but so this type of thing. That's one of the things I'd like to keep in mind. I think that's one of the things I did. I think all of the, uh... Yep. Uh, I think all the ones with the broken sh with the broken mirrors were stuff I worked on, I think. I don't know, it's been so long, I can't remember everything. Let's see. What is one character that that you did not like, but the story kind of forced you to like? Is basically saying you do, you have to like this character. They're part of the story. Mm. I think I've been watching too much of Manga Commons videos, but um. Yeah, I one character that the story kind of construes you and says, Oh, you have to like her. this character. Um, uh, Chloe from Life is Strange. I know that's one of those games where I could either love it or hate it. There's rarely anyone in between. In which I'm one of those people who really does not like it. Bad writing is bad writing, and a bad character is a very bad character. And no matter how much the story tries to push it towards me, that I must like them, I will not. And then there are some characters that the that the game wants you to hate, but you inadvertently actually like more than the main characters. You're fine, man. Yes, yeah, that's, that's basically my whole inane rambling kind of thing. Yes, I must comment on this extremely good and polished gameplay experience. I mean, oh, friend side two. Oh, see you, see you. Man, I keep missing some of these messages. Now level thirteen. That one took a bit longer. But, I think we're over halfway through the levels, I think. This is not gonna be a very long stream. I stole somebody's pickle... pickle one day. Why? What the... <laughs> <laughs> okay, he ended up exploding into nothingness. And why would you do For that? some reason.
Who is your most hated character in video games? I honestly don't know. Too many? No, I know, it's just, I can't think of too many characters I hate. I know I've found some that have been disappointing. Uh, I know some have been disappointing, like, like for example, in Pokemon Sun and Moon, one of the main the main villain losing me. She was a great character, but in Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, they tried mixing her motivation with like a new motivation to introduce that was with new concepts that was introduced, and it just did not mix. If Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon was supposed to be an alternate universe version of Sun and Moon, actually, make it feel that way. Okay. Uh, another one. And in the and in the anime, they try to make her a try to make her a good mom, but. No. I mean, at the very least, they tried, they actually tried to stick with a different take, rather than doing making a half-hearted attempt at both, a, a, a halfway attempt at both. True. That I would actually, that I could actually kind of respect more. Uh, let's see. Uh, another one that's that's disappoint me. In the, in the original Mass Effect trilogy, there was a character called uh, Kasumi. She was one of the DLC characters, and. She and I think as a character, she actually works well. The problem was, you don't have, you can't have any conversations with her outside of her missions. So if you want to talk with her on the ship or extra side stories, you can't. Wow. Yeah, that's messed up. Yeah. So what if I want to enjoy my? T so what if I want to like enjoy my time with her? What if I like? Like I'm not even asking to what romance. If, what, if, what if you wanted to? Yeah. What if you wanted to romance her? Well, not even a, I'm not even looking at romance. Just like I, I, I honestly, I've, my honestly, my heart goes to. Uh, uh, damn it, I'm having. Aria. Damn it, I'm having a brain fart in her name. Uh, 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 Tally. My heart goes to her. Of course. Same here. Why would you say of course? <laughs> honestly, a lot of people w always wanted to ro keep on romancing Tally. Yes. The hips don't lie. And them legs. Plus I plus I also kinda like really liked her look. Gotta say it kinda doesn't point her form. It was pretty much just a slightly altered human. Slightly altered human with um three fingers, I believe. But I kinda preferred the mask on. <laughs> I don't know why, but I I actually find ma mass characters to be cooler. Um, one character that I really hated. Um, Ava from Borderlands 3. Well, two, one was all right. Bo wasn't boring, but wasn't great. Two was great, with a very lovable villain. Um, but then uh, that then they brought it back with the pre sequel, which it wasn't bad. It wasn't it was it was good, but not great. Um. Three was a mixed bag. One hand, the gunplay and uh, characters you can play as were awesome. The other hand, the story and writing was not that good. Like, your st the story was kind of built off of whole coincidence, coincidence this and uh, MacGuffin that. A lot of, a lot of things that a lot of bad, badly written movies have been taking on nowadays. And then there was this one character that I just really did not like, and. There was this one character I really did not like, but the story kept on going, siding with her, and I go. Why doesn't she get any? Why doesn't this character get any growth? Uh, creator's pet, maybe. 
pretty much. Pretty much. Zero was a Zero was kind of, was awesome. He was my first pick from Borderlands too. I don't know. Uh, uh, to me, I tried uh, the first Borderlands, but I, I just couldn't get really get into the gunplay. Shooters are not really my thing, with some exceptions. TF2. I mean, uh, uh, I don't know. I only tried a bit of TF2. I think I actually had to try to get it with friends. I remember playing Overwatch for a bit. I liked the I liked Doom 2016. Doom 2016 was fun. Doom um, Eternal was alright, oh, but hear. then they. Oh, most people you kind of. Than the than, than Doom. Gunplay and action is good, but then you get into the story. It's kind. It it's really kind of a bit story. more. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. Story, it, really. Very true. To which, in 2016. 2016 had a plot, but Doom Guy just didn't care. That's kind of that's kind of the thing that was rolling with it, and that's what I liked. Still, Eternal was still a good good game, and should have gotten more awards than uh, Tilu Portus. Still not letting that go. You know, the thing about it, we probably should have had like more people, like five random people just to play the game, just to make sure we were actually doing well. Always, a good way a uh, step of game development is to always play test it, not just yourself, but Keep on asking or getting other people to try it. Yes. And if a play if you actually get community um community feedback being like, hey, it this is good, but this needs a little fixing. Stuff like that. Always good for public feedback. As long as that public feedback is actually actually critical and and not just trolling. What the? Damn it! Sometimes I dream about cheese. <laughs> that was actually a quote from uh, one of the one of the recruitable civilians in Half Life Two. Oh, that's where it came from. I mean, I've heard the phrase. Yeah. Um, did you did you know that it was that the word hacks was actually for, came from Half Life Two? Really? Yeah. Like instead, it like it's when those um razor sharp things that are flying towards you, who the uh, rebels, one of the rebels will say, hacks. Oh, so they were. Anti Which they were actually called man hacks. Yeah. I can remember in like a lot of the levels that were cut, there was a lot more moving platforms, like those types. But I think it was just yes. a lot of waiting game. I think that was one of the big issues. Very true. And then there was that one achievement that was so freaking tedious in part two. Gone. The gnome. The gnome. The gnome in space achievement. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot about that. Yeah. Zoe Lewis, son of a bitch! Go to hell! Ah, 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 
Mother of mercy. Leno dude is doing. Uh, I know he lost a lot of his uh, stuff in a fire. I actually, he actually commented on my 15.ai video from earlier this year. Well, hmm. uh, at least he's still alive. That is one good thing. What is one thing that really, that can really annoy you? Uh, double standards, politics. Oh yeah. yeah, that. But we're not getting into. We're not gonna get into politics. Right. Is that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One one thing that annoys me. What I. Um, when I'm doing, when I'm pretty busy with my job, and a customer is just giving me the glare, like, in, um, I said I worked in the fast food industry. Yeah, I work. Yeah, I work at a McDonald's. <laughs> um, I. But I'm intending on quitting and trying to go to a different place, like something more calmer. Um, like a Target, maybe. Maybe Walmart, but I heard from you guys that that is... Walmart is just crazy. But yeah, when you're... When you're trying to do... Get stuff done, and you just have this customer... One customer breathing down your neck, and they know you are that you're trying to do this important thing, but they don't care. I'm only teen. Okay, how many more do we have? I know there's a big bonus level near the end. That's gonna take some time. Okay, there's a big freeze. Okay, I think I know what's happening. This is where like the next part, like the uh, ne next area, loads in. So, okay, four more levels, and I think that big bonus. So this one's gonna be at least an hour. I don't know if it's gonna be more than that, but hey, sometimes shorter is or some, something wrong with something being short. Okay. Okay, I think this one was actually I think this one uh, was created by one of the two my teammates, Chris. I think this I think this was one of his, I'm not entirely certain. I know do know some people like made some levels but nine of the bears got in. So on, I gotta call me good. So, oh, how's production going on in your Bionicle Cataclysm? By the time the extension gets... Well, I, hope I, I hope I can finish the final battle scene in a week and then work on other stuff. I'm still waiting for various voices. I'm probably gonna have to have ah. Okay, I see what I So, we have a big platform. So, how does... So, how does the voice acting work when it comes to doing your videos? You have to record it by phone or what? What do you usually record it by? Audacity on a microphone. Ah. Okay. So, ba so basically, you pull up Audacity and you just um you re while reading the script, you record your lines as best as you can. Uh, yeah. Ah. Okay. Is that mainly the only tool that you really use for voice acting, or are there any other types?
thing you know, Sin Kusanagi appears in your house and goes, Stop right there, criminal scum. Yeah. You have violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Oh, God, I remember this one I made. Okay. Then pay with your blood! Okay. Why won't you die? One thing, one thing I, I saw lately that I think kind of looks pretty cool, the symbiote version of Spider Gwen. I think I've been seeing that around two stores as toys. Yeah, I actually might want that figure. Hey, here. Um, out of curiosity, before I, I think for if I ever choose a beloved for for three houses, I'm actually gonna be doing the male protagonist. Um, is that late? Um, that one girl, the purple-haired girl, who that's an archer. Bernadette. Is she part of the blue? Bern yeah, Bernadette. Is she part of the Blue Lions? Yes. I don't know why, but I always like. Sometimes I, besides tomboys, I always like the tim, the timid girls that you just want to protect. I think I understand why. I mean, so why, like, this is kind of this is supposed to be framed to make sure things don't move. So I think this is just to make sure. Because if I just lay it straight down, they will come through. Okay. Oh wait, I. Oh okay, I think I. God, I think I actually do. Now that I constantly look back on it, I think I actually do have a thing for for timid shy girls with glasses. But Bernadette doesn't have glasses. You're still a timid shy girl. Let's see, Futaba, in which timid. Right, I like Futaba, but sometimes like. Uh... Stereotypical gamer, ga 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 gamer speak is a little annoying. That's one of the thing I don't admittedly don't care for. Yeah, um, gets a little mo bit annoying in Scramble Bonifay? or Strikers if if you're going by U.S. standards. Um, Genica. Jinako uh, Karigiri from from the Fate series, the Witch and Fate Grand Order. She is Ganesha. Shade is using the power of dragon.
Hello there. Uh, you're the old Kenobi. What is your opinion on watching playthroughs of games that you haven't played yet? Uh, I mean, not much opinion. Wait, is this a secret level? Wait, I thought there was more after this thing. It's like a... It's at, it's at level 22 on one of those stages. I thought this was a boss level. Whatever, it's gonna take some time to figure out. I know that much. Let's see. Yeah, I forget the name of the girl. Uh, made this model, but she did a good, darn good job. Hmm. Oh, nine, nine hundred ninety nine. Oh, ninety nine. Oh dear. Oh yeah, another, another somewhat timid shot. Shy girl from um, Dangan Ranpa that I that I liked was um, Koko Fukawa. Character you wouldn't know who it was until you've actually played uh, any of the Dangan Ranpa games. Have you heard of this one thing, one TV show that people really want greenlit? Um, Pibby, learning with Pibby. Yes, I have. That looks so messed up. I want it. <laughs> I don't know why, but um, I just. That show looks so messed up enough that I- it's a very interesting concept. And it's not really making fun of the IPZ that they are actually bringing into, either. Cause, for instance, as we saw in the trailer, Fred Flintstone was actually still in character. Still, he got gobbled up. Also, I don't think Ultra Instinct Shaggy is going to save the day on this one. Nope. Speaking of Ultra Instinct Shaggy, uh, Warner Brothers is actually working on a Smash clone. Yeah, I saw that, and apparently that's also coming out. Yeah, um, it's also going to be... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, bro, hold I mean, up. I mean, some of this has done well, but knowing, like, uh, how Warner Brothers have done games in the past, uh, I'll be worried. Uh, <coughs> Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, it's not like I... The only Warner Brothers game I can think of that I bought was, um, Shadow of Mordor, and honestly, I didn't care that much for that game. Shadow of Mordor was a good game. It's Shadow of War that they did slimy tactics on. I mean, I mean, from what I hear, take that side, it's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, like for instance, I like how you can actually, 
how close your um, orcs can get to you. For instance, if you're about to die, they will save your life. Pause of greed. Actually, technically, there was one other game that tried to do the Nemesis mechanic. Um, Warframe. Warframe tried to do the Nemesis mechanic. It does it to uh, leveling degrees. But it's a pain. Given that Warframe is also a free game and you have to do a lot of grinding. Fun game, mind you, but... A lot of grinding. Purple rain, purple rain. We're gonna party till we're purple. Yeah, I like being purple. I think I've asked this before, but do you think LEGO will actually try to bring back Bionicle one more time? I don't know. I just want some sort of construction thing, but if they're gonna bring back Bionicle, I'd rather do the, them do it well or not at all. Gen 2 had good sets, but that's about it. Uh, Speed Halo, talking about the shot Good sets, mechanic. interesting... Good sets, interesting parts, but... I'm gonna be honest, I did not like the fact that they brought back the gear system. Alright, Yeah, it, it, it is nice. Uh, honestly, I think... I think 2015 was the best mixture of form and function. Like, trying to please both sides. True. I wish I was actually able to... nab myself a Tahu in my time, but... I wasn't able to. Um, I did get Golly. I think that's her I think that's her name. Alright, so we want to make sure that that doesn't hit the red. Probably like in 20, 29 or something. I don't know. I mean, no, I mean, let's hope to God the nostalgia age dies out sooner than later. Because this is literally what it is. Like, all the reboots and the continuations, it's nostalgia age. And, well, we're kind of part of the problem, let's be honest with ourselves. You'll never kill off my nostalgia. But you might have to kill the nostalgia critic. Nah. Not ever. Nah, I'd rather not wish death upon anybody. I'm too... I'm too... <laughs> I'm too nice for that. Anytime I play... Anytime I play a game that actually gives you moral choices, I always try to pick the good choice. And then I do a separate save file, where I'm a total dick. That's what I did in Fallout. <laughs> I do the right choice, and then I pick... And then I save my game for another bit, and then I immediately go to, to uh, ruining everything. Yeah, I remember. 
remember this being one of the hardest levels in the game, especially this part. I'm trying to think, what did I do last time? Why is it like that? You wad when you should have went. <laughs> I've never done this in a video game. The character, one character tells you specifically not to do a certain thing, but then you just do it anyway just to see what happens. I don't do that. A uh, what? I have actually done that a couple of times. <laughs> it's a funny result. Starting to grow brain cells. I know. <laughs> and they say video games make people dumb. I hate it when people say that. Ugh. Video games can actually be a very go good therapeutic thing. Think Tank. I was thinking Jimmy Neutron think. Think, think, think. And then you see my brain. enough, in games like Skyrim, they have children in the game, but if you even try to kill them, they are immortal, for some reason. Like, they will run away from you, yes, but... and everyone will try to attack you. <laughs> but... no, they will not die. In Halo Combat Evolved, if you act in the first level, when Commander Keys gives you a gun and then you e exit the room, and you finally equip your weapon, if you go back into the room and shoot Commander Keys, 
or anybody in the room, a whole squadron of marines will come in to, to end your life. And no matter how many times you shoot them, they will not die. I got, I got it. Let's get, let's get rampaging. Yeah, no. Dang. Alright, I've been thinking. When life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade. Make life take the lemons back. Get mad! I don't want your darn lemons! What am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager. Make life rue the day it thought it could give Sin Kusanagi lemons. Do you know who I am? Yes. I'm the guy who's gonna burn your house down with the lemons! I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that'll burn your house down! Cough. Cough. Pretty sure the chat thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> oh, no one's commenting yet. Oh, okay. One thing I'm ha happy to have off my plate, less, co less college assignments to deal with. That's good. Well, it's also Christmas, so... Very true. Ah, but work in college, that is one thing that can be a mix-up for stress. Excuse me. It's 
Stop spitting at me, Felter! <laughs> you yes. spin me right round, yes, baby, fine. right round! I know round. I'm an idiot for not figuring out your puzzle. Shut it. Did he literally call you an idiot? No. Oh, okay. I think that's what he's trying to imply. Maybe. Or maybe you're just driving him crazy. Possible. <laughs> there was actually one NPC in Genshin Impact that was stuck in a cage. In which, when you interacted with him, he told you to go pick up, up the key that was in a tree. The more you interacted with him... <laughs> The more crazy he went, going like, Why aren't you going to get the key? Why are you just sitting there? There. <laughs> he just has a mental breakdown, as you're just standing there, just constantly trying to talk to him. To exhaust the dialogue. And then it gets to a point where he just goes, You know what? I think you finally broke me. So from now on, I'm I'm not gonna talk to you until you open this cage. <laughs> I like it when games do that sometimes. It can be it can be funny as heck. One funny thing that happened in an old game, um, I think it was either Shenmue one or two. If you went to the gambling ring, and you actually won, won 20 times, either by cheating or not, I think the gambler himself, the guy who was running the thing, would actually explode into blood. Like, he'd have a blood, a bloody explosion, and he, and then you couldn't actually gam- use that means of gambling anymore. Supposedly that was a way to crack down on cheaters, as Sega made, implemented that. Did you do it? Oh god, I don't know how long that I took. 15, 20 minutes? Good boy! Thank you. Now do it again. I don't know. <laughs> look down here and uh, let me just, huh? Alright. 23 minutes to do that whole level. Oh god. Ugh. And then this, okay, I think this is the 20 second level or something like that. What was your opinion on the, on the Werehog stages in Sonic Unleashed? Uh... I, I guess I just prefer, uh, regular gameplay, I, I don't know. Thanks for playing. I actually like the Werehog stages. I don't know, I got the Wii version, so it's a lot of motion control stuff. Okay. okay, so this is just basically like a, you can mess around all you want with them. Throw them! Throw them into the lava!
Oh yeah, that. Oh yeah, to go back to that one thing I was talking about in three houses. Whenever I start up my my playthrough of that, um, was it a was it a thing that you could actually bring other characters from other houses onto the house that you chose? Yeah. Okay, so is it possible to bring Ber Bernadette into uh, the Blue Lions? Okay, and how many days do I have to do that? Okay, so you basically have all the way until the f the big ba the big time skip age. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we're reaching the end of this game. So if anybody, whether it's Sin or uh, or the chat, has any questions about the development of this game, since this is a pretty short stream, so yeah, I got a bit of time. That's the end. That's all the levels we got. I forget how much we, how much of we had we had before the original build before we decided to like. So after we were done, like the project, some of us decided to continue so that we could post it on uh, H.io so that uh, so that people could see it. Uh, it might be good for the portfolio. Uh, after that, uh, I think it's supposed to just me and Christopher because like, some of the people were decided like go get their masters. Uh, do other stuff. Is there another game what she's doing right now? I don't think she's doing gaming, but she's working on some other stuff. Chris, I, uh, one of the guys who worked on this, uh, he did a lot of the big scripting stuff, especially with the mirrors. He ended up, uh, um, working, uh, oh, hey, Nidhi, you had, you had, that time, I mean, we can't reach the end, so right now we're just asking developmental questions. Uh, what was I going so, at the, so, um, it was mostly just me, Chris was actually, uh, doing some QA testing, I think was for 2K, but last time I talked to him, which was a year ago, he wanted to try to find somewhere else, it's because 2K is a bitch. I mean, have you seen the news from a few days ago? I think a lot of game developers are starting to show their true colors, well, um, Activision. Plus developers, more publishers, that's where most of the problems come. Um, Activision Blizzard, EA, Ubisoft, and Naughty Dog. And Sony. Right, and, Ro and, and Riot. Not to mention this, not to mention, like, Xenos. Not, not to mention every, all the other stuff. Like, all the companies have to have the problems. Nintendo definitely has some of the fan games. Like, the expansion pass was not received very well, and for good reason, it's too costly and you're not getting enough. So honestly, I just hate when developers like have a subscription service and then and then decide to have an extra one on top of that. Like, just stick with the one, please. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but they're not gonna do that, are they? Well, anyways, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, you missed most of the game. Uh, we just we just finished it. Uh, I guess I can try. Again. And we're gonna talk. And we're gonna totally play through it again, just for you. I mean, we can probably do it like a few levels, while like, anybody has any development questions, go ahead. We got level select now, so let's just choose a random, uh, 13, sure. No. So yeah, if anybody has any questions, ask away. About like, going into making this. And you can't, and, and uh, there is a download link in the video description if you guys wanna try it yourself. I mean, there's probably much, not much of a need since you've seen me play it, so you know what's happening, but for those who are curious... It's completely free! Yeah. I mean, did you have any thoughts on this? Like, true, honest thoughts? You didn't... Uh, I'm gonna be honest. You didn't put, put up a thing so I could watch. So I never even got to see any of it. What? <laughs> I was just honestly having a good time chatting with you. Uh, regardless if I was watching it or not. Well, shit. You're fine, man. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay. Oh, first person. A purple person. It's a woman. Picking up cube. Okay, now I. Why did you say anything? I what? I didn't want to be rude. Well, you could have said something. <laughs> huh? Okay, interesting. Well, at least now, well, at least now you can try the game if you're curious. But... <laughs> yeah, I'll get. I'll give this game a shot whenever I have the chance. Right, only if you want to. Like, if you don't want, if you don't want to, then don't feel pressure to. Just the options there. <laughs> yeah, you're. I yeah. Feel, I feel stupid. Nah, you're not. Except when it came to level 20, or the secret level. Yeah, so I think was 21. Yeah, so I'll just do a few of the random levels. Just. <laughs> one of the one of these days, you should do a stream highlights and just e edit it and make it even funnier. Or one of these days. I don't got time to do highlights. I'm working on everything else. Understandable, but it's an idea. For instance, that one that one time where, where I nearly died of laughter. <laughs> in your Spore playthrough. Ah, <laughs> uh, I forget. Um, but... Uh, but I think I sent... I think I'll remember when I look, look back on it, on the times I've sent it to... sent the videos to my friends. So, um, what game is this? It was a door- it was part of a challenge. The door challenge. The door challenge? Yeah, yeah, it was, basically you had to- you had to make a level involving trying to open a door of some sort. It was basically like, uh, you collect crystals and end up doing like a bit of a sliding puzzle. Huh. Yeah, it, for some reason it didn't work. Maybe it's because, like, I was doing it on a- on a Mac. Like, like, when I did it, was on a Mac and I- maybe I didn't make- actually work on Mac, I don't know. Hmm. I guess at least. I don't know. I did have my roommates at the time, Cody, who studied in programming a little bit of the coding help. Huh. Consume. Oh yeah, I keep on forgetting to ask this. What's your opinion on YouTube removing the dislike button? Who doesn't dislike it? Yeah, a lot of people do. Somebody. <laughs> oh. I don't expect you two to make many good decisions. I lost hope in you two making good decisions a long time ago. Rewind. YouTube Rewind 2018. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, Jesus. Do you have a soundboard or something? He has a soundboard. Yes! Oh, I do my. have a soundboard. Wait, who's there? Oh, yeah, the it's your boy. Soundboard. Crunch lad. Oh, crunchy. Oh, <laughs> oh boy, you just crunch lax. Okay, crum crunchy boy. Yeah, we technically uh kind of finished the gameplay. Uh, right now we're just trying to do some random stuff, just like see if people had any development questions. Also, for some reason, I forgot to turn on like so that uh, Sin could watch it. <laughs> and I was just too nice. I'm here to provide the n the not funny funnies. Empty boy. 
Yeah, so mm. well, we might as well just play through the game again. The stream is already too short. <laughs> joke. <laughs> I. Oh I'll well, my joke. Do it funny. again. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll do it again. Let's see. Uh, I mean, anyway, you shouldn't take nearly as long. Uh, crunchy. Actually, <laughs> the demons in my head told me to. <laughs> okay. I, actually, I. Uh, do you have an image I could use, like, so I can, like, uh, put on the stream? Yeah. Just let me get it. Thank you. Alright. So, this- So, this is Crumchy Boy. Well, hello, Crumchy Boy. I am Sin Kusanagi. Or on other fun. times, I'm Alex Tatakai. Right now, I am Sin. You can call me Crumchy, or... Who the fuck let this guy in? Get him out. <laughs> Yes, another member of the Fobbles Me Discord server. Raritanium, baby. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I didn't realize you were Raritanium. Yeah, so this, yeah, this is just a. Boy, my name is. Boy, you're literally the last one on the Patreon roll. My name is right after Augie. Well, I, um, uh, then again, I haven't really been paying attention to, like, the rolls in the end. Fair enough. Probably gonna be going a long while before I can get my Patreon. Fine, I'm really busy working on other projects, so it gives me more time to do this stuff. Fair, fair. Trying to get this collab done. It's in my mind. Well, uh, well, as one of one of the other Patreon roll rolls says, Falk you. I haven't really seen much of Falcon these days. Have you? Uh, Honestly, yeah. Like, like I haven't seen Falk all that much. Hold on a sec, uh... Oh, I can do this. Hold on a sec. Oh, he has an image. Thank you. Okay, save image. We're gonna put it in... Got someone else here. Hmm? Got another Patreon. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, on. Right. Original. Nanda, you. Oh, fill up, fill up. We got... Uh, we got hello. Philip Cross. I'm here. Yeah, hello, hello. Yeah, so, okay, so, let's see. Add you in, Philip Cross, to the allies and co-hosts. Uh, do you have an icon I could potentially use so I can add to the stream format? Uh, is... uh I mean, I, I could get my, I could get my icon here and, uh, and just crop it for you. Oh, sure, yes, please. Okay, let's see, uh, yep. add here, uh, add what to the... assets. Let's give me a bit, I gotta find it. That's fine. Right now, I'm yeah, just give him a sec. Woo! I don't really care which image you use, both work. Alright, that's fine, uh, crumchy, excellent, okay, okay, add, image, Boy, browse image and shut streams. Thank you, assets. Crunchy. Add down here. So yeah, this is just so yeah, this is just a game I helped make in university. So we're just playing it again because like for more people to see, and I guess if anybody has any developmental questions. Can't I'm guessing it's a puzzle game, yeah? Yeah. Yes, it is just similar to Portal. And I suck at puzzle games, which is kind of weird since all the, a lot of the games we made ended up being puzzle games. Well, honestly, it seems like this game takes a lot- of, Well, yes, it is, does seem to take a lot of inspiration from Portal. But it seems like if Portal just used circuits. And mirrors. Lots yeah, of mirrors. That's, that is one thing I've been no that I've noticed through the gameplay. Okay, now the loading's faster than it was, for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's because I... I don't know. Uh, yes, now we're getting to the filters. Mirrors, colors. Look away! Funky. Yes. Friday night funkin'? Oh no. I think you don't realize it's a Sunday, Sunday right? A little, a little bit of guitar here, a little bit of Eh, Friday was two nights ago. 
True. Uh, sorry, fella, what were you saying? I said you do realize Friday was was uh, two days ago. Die. I will murder you. Oh yeah? Shut the fuck up! I will rip out your <laughs> Fight me, nerd! Fight me! Why are we all nerds? Are you Dino Kill? We're all nerds here. Okay, so now that on, let's see if I have if I pick the right keybind. <laughs> That's the sound of your head coming off. Boom! <laughs> 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 How many do you have spawn there? Not that one, is it? WHAT ARE YOU DOING?! No. <laughs> Wait, no, it's this one, guaranteed. BE GONE, SUCK! There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh... Well... Um, uh, what do you want I me to- I can do this up? all day, darling! Just try me! Do you want me to- Do you want me to share the, uh, image in DMs for you? Uh, sure. Uh, uh, okay, nice we got six shots, so we can open up the next door. What the f I'm trying to hit E. No. E. There we go. Where did that, where did that meme even come there from? You go. Sorry, what was that? How did that meme, how did the Markiplier E even originate? Even knows probably someone decided to make something stupid. As I mean, that's how most memes end up coming into into existence. Yeah, like it, it. It generally does seem like that. Like someone finds something, they find meme potential, and then it just gets overdone, and within a week, it's just overused. Sometimes not even a week. Sometimes just a few days. Honestly, Here yeah. Or not, like, there are not, way too many memes even, that just go by way too fast. Like, or not even that, it's sometimes just a few hours. Yeah, remember the one meme with, like, the train with, like, the two different guys? One was seeing the rocks, and the other one was, uh, seeing the actual sunset and all that? That died, with, that died yeah. pretty quickly. Hmm. I mean, I mean, right now, the, the big thing I'm seeing on Twitter is, you, hire mammal. And, like... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. All right, Philip. Now we can add your beautiful face to the UI. Hold on. By the way, do we need any? Do we need any background music for the stream? No, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, well, screw you. You're getting it anyways. Bum bum bum. Sorry, that's my face. <laughs> <laughs> There you know I know. Yes, this is one you guys. And now you run. Do. Now we I'm so sorry. Now we are. 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 And it's the whole fucking song, too. It's so good. It's a bop, man. Huh? What is it called? It... Gary, come home. Yeah, Gary, come home. Uh, giving out uh, Moonbase Alpha. Oh, fun fact. One of, yep, my that's... one of my university professors uh, actually worked on that game. Fun. Huh. Yeah, he was giving us examples, talking about like how they have no idea they was going to do that. This is not the original intention. So they decided to just make it like a separate mode, so just without the time limit, just people can just fuck around. That's, that's honestly how it should have been. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's how it always should have been. Right, he also worked on a bunch of military simulations, because apparently a lot of people from Full Sail, like, it's, it's actually a fairly good career path. People take into game design, work on, on simulation stuff. Fun. Yeah. Fun. Jerry. I'm 
mean? Jerry. I mean, we don't exactly have companion cubes, so... Companion cube is already trademarked, so just make something, just make a cube, call it Jerry. Oh, it's actually trademarked? Burnley Square. Oh, I didn't know that. Alright. Expand, expand. Consume! Expand, not in a sexual way. Enlarge. Force ring. Oh my. Expand! I mean, uh, no game is perfect. Yeah, that's true. But we should at least try to uh, deal with most of the major bugs if possible. And this huge glass, huge ass glass shard. Glass. Ah, uh, yes, that is exactly how you fix glass. Yes. That's precisely how you fix glass. I went to school. Yes, indeed. Wait a minute. Did I not ha Did I not attach that wire all the way to the red s <laughs> You're going to have to commit unalive. Yeah, no thanks, I'd rather stay alive. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we can do that, Chief. Hmm. Alright. Alright. Hmm. <laughs> Birthdays on Thursday, so maybe I'll get something that we can stream today. Hmm. 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 Hold on, I'll be right back. Yeah, last I recall, that's not Perry the Platypus. No, I can't do the brown. Alright, so now we can see this. You. You. My gravity filter to you. My gravity filter to you. Got a blast! I only saw a few episodes of Jimmy Neutron, honestly. We didn't have cable, and I guess I enjoyed Fairly Odd Parents more. Hmm. Well, it's a shame what happened to Fairly Odd Parents. Very true. I don't think that runs for too long. Yep, and they, they brought in running... a Mary Sue. Well, they kept running out of ideas, and it just. Well, anyway, yeah. it goes on for too long. I'd rather they just, like, just think things die. Like, I love Star Trek The Next Generation, but I do not want that thing to run for millions and millions of seasons. Yes, yes, I agree. Yeah. Boink. Okay. Ah, hello there. You went out of the way. It's gone. Where did it go? Whoa. Cube. The cube shall disappear, and you shall not exist. 
this cube contains the fabric of your reality, throws on ground, shatters. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Ooh, power ups. I'm assuming those are. Fiber up. Right. Ooh. It just raises up. Right, Don't brother, you die on me, right. gravity. Ooh. Ooh. Very interesting. Yeah, thanks. Uh, there's a download code on each dial.io if either any of you are interested. Oh, let's see. Oh, we can't get over here. There's this thing in the way. And we can't get through here because there's a black thing in the way. If I came out very wrong, I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, honestly, this game, it honestly seems like it it, it takes like from portal and antechamber. Oh, I remember antechamber. I, I think we, they want us to watch playthroughs of it or at least try it at university. I suck at puzzle games, so I did not get very far. That, that like, I remember that game, that was just a mindfuck. Yeah, the entire game is a mindfuck. You wanna know what other game is a mind fuck? Eternal Darkness. Oh yeah, I heard about mm. that. Then there's, then there's Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess. That's not quite as. A That's mind debatable. Fuck. That's debatable. That's a bit debatable. Yes, on certain parts Most of it. Most likely on I... one scene. Yeah, Pretty much. Only that one scene. Which yeah, it was that one scene. Have you really. the slightest idea how little that narrows it down? True. Uh, the, uh... What about Death Stranding? I've never played Death Stranding, so I wouldn't be, be able to tell you. I thought that was just Diet Subnautica. Boat. Wait, no, no, no. I, I said it. There was no boat. Boat. <laughs> there was no boat, though. Do you see what I have to deal with, chat? Oh, wait. Death Stranding? Uh... Mm -hmm. Norman that Reedus. Game, the game Kojima made. The one that was a fucking uh -huh. game Konami. Pretty much. With Norman Reedus and his amazing fetus. I'm, I'm drawing a blank here. When are you yeah. not drawing blanks? Let's be honest, Grumpy. Yeah, I'm kind of retarded. Yeah, let's not, Grumpy, refrain from using that here. Okay, bet. Well, at least you didn't turn the freaking frogs, G. Frog. You're, luck you're lucky he doesn't have that. He doesn't? No, he does not. But don't okay. give me ideas. SHIT! There it is. You guys are much- you blocks are much less stable than the cubes and portals. <laughs> well, we that's their amateur. basic way of calling you a blockhead, man. Well, way to go, buddy. It took us three days to make that potato salad. THREE DAYS! THREE DAYS! Okay, now we can grab this. Very interesting.
Interesting. Thank you. Uh, Very good. Pardon? Very good. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I worked on a good amount of level design. Other people worked on concepts and most of scripting. I scripted a few things. And then various people worked on other stuff. I always wanted to create a fighting game. Requires a lot of framing and hitboxes and a lot of coding. Yeah, that's the well, it also depends on the type of uh, game you're going for. Yeah, that's one of the hmm. things that kind of turned me off from uh, looking further into like working in gaming. Even though I had a degree, it's a, a lot of this because like game design is not just game design. No, it's like you're pretty much a jack of all trades. You had to work on the coding. You had to work on the art style. You had to work on the mechanics. A lot of things. A lot of things play into into designing games, which could really take its toll on the developer. Trust me, anime developers had to go through the same thing, but in a little a little different way. Mm-hmm. It's a tsundere, man! Oh, I can literally, like, kind of push it up a bit with a jumping running cross it. <laughs> Hold on, watch this. I'm- I'm gonna- I'm gonna pull a little magic trick. I learned this one from my dad. Hold on, watch this. Uh, yeah, yeah, on that- on that note, I'm gonna be heading out, too. Alright, take care, man. It was nice- it was nice talking with you. Pleasure to meet you, too, man. Pleasure to meet you. Mm -hmm. Alright. Later. Now then, we All are right. alone. Yep. Okay, take these two inklings off. Uh no, since they're gone, they can't watch. Shall we, should we shall I do the rest of the levels for you, Zaya? Yes, you shall. And you shall die a lot. And then after this, we'll close up shop. Because by the time we get finished, it'll be about two hours. And that's after playing mm -hmm. twice, effectively. Mm -hmm. You, you viewers are so lucky. You get to see me play a game twice. Yeah, Nadiki, if you're still here. I don't know how many people are watching the uh, watching right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I still can't believe <laughs> Believe I what you beat the whole game without me watching the first time. Actually I'm wondering, who the main character in this design, how did you um who inspired that? Ah. If you look closely, there's like you can get trapped here. There's like these little slits that you can get through. Cause uh, you have to think out for your players who uh, might not know always know what they're doing. Hmm. Hello there. So those two are an in are an interesting bunch. Well then, I guess that makes me tempted to join the server. Oh, you should. You should. <laughs> A gable alternative. Or a secret's breaking, but really, you're not really breaking. You're not really saving that much more time. 
You just okay. gotta save the game. I did hear about some interesting breaking in Metroid Threat. Now that was a really good game. You get the bombs early, mm -hmm. and then uh, find a way, and then like blast your way into the boss's belly button to blow him up to end the battle quickly. That sounded so wrong. It is. <laughs> That is a sort of fetish. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Yeah, buddy, anything, anything can be a fetish. Yeah, uh, right. Honestly, my philosophy is as long as you're not being the. As long as you're not being. Of course! Uh, uh, right, right, as long as you're not being too intrusive or like trying to do anything harmful with it. I as long as it's consensual and you're not hurting anybody. And my, and my other philosophy will always be, if you're nice to me, I shall be nice and kind, but if you are a douche, I will be a total dick to you. Yeah. There were two of you. you were... have one song that just gets stuck inside your head and you just keep on listening to it over and over again true right now that is the latest theme for the new character that came out for guilty gear strive um happy chaos his theme being drift <laughs> yeah, he's a character. And for his neutral special, he has gun. Alright, let's see if we're gonna do this in less time and hopefully much less time this time. It also inspires me to he also kind of inspires me to make a DD &D character. What type of character? A crazed, peace-loving, uh, either a gunslinger or rogue. Okay. Like, he gives you cryptic ad life advice. And he want- he yearns for peace, but... He's not afraid to get violent. Well, that's my ri that's my idea with it. Are in Jesus. He must bless you.
into the um so the latest so into the spider verse 2 finally got got a trailer yep. um it's called across the spider verse I'm digging it. And I'm eager for it. I'm also eager for the um, No Way Home. And I'm still hoping for Toby and uh, Andrew Garfield to make an appearance. It is inevitable. I don't feel so good. At, you want to know what I was kind of hoping for Peter to say to Miss, for Peter to say to Tony at the end of Endgame, Mr. Stark, you don't feel so good. <laughs> uh, no, it would have ruined the the, ten, the tender emotional moment. But it but it would have made it. So it would have made it funnier. Yeah, screw it. I've but already solved, I've already solved this puzzle one before. I don't need to do it again. You're gonna blow yourself up. Uh, yeah. No, that's no way to end the stream. Shade is not a quitter. Unless he, unless he chooses to be. So touching the red thing means death. As is anything that's red. Oh my god. <laughs> there was actually somebody made a video about the paparazzi that was blocking Tobey Maguire from getting home. And he was just getting annoyed by it. In which they it then revealed Spider-Man can't get home. Yeah, that This is why nobody likes the media. Oh, very true. You would think somebody would give pineapples and oranges, but instead they're giving me apples and watermelons. Well, technically, you're not the one who made it on this one. Yeah, not that level. Thanks to Brilliant. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> just like nowadays, when you, whenever you are scrolling on a YouTube video and you just keep your cursor on it, nowadays it'll automatically play, and that's something I don't like. Yeah, I do. 
then something becomes a part of your watch history that you don't want to be a part of your watch history. Oh, Crimby. What? Stuff. <laughs> there was one guy who decided to redraw Spider Gwen in the Across the Spider Verse. Trailer and just make her a lit a little more curvy, there's as we would say. There's always going to be that. I thought you were going to say make it better, but it's one of those cases where no, it's just not. It's just the he just makes her <laughs> her <laughs> her B word bigger. Breasts. <laughs> and then a whole bunch of basically a whole bunch of people tried to throw are basically going delete this. Stop this, all this. Just throw Throw hate people. He just did this just to make people mad. Why am I not surprised? Just, just to basically prove a point. Anybody can get mad on Twitter. Mad over anything. That's basically, that's basically the main thing Twitter is used for anyway. Just get mad. Get mad! I don't want your damn lemons! What am I supposed to do with they? I'm gonna invent a combustible lemon!
Unless we use pickles. No cigar. Uh, the music uh, is a little low. Yeah, I'll try to. It seems to reset every time for some reason. Yeah, I got it. Hold on. Have you ever watched What If? Yes, I did. Oh, damn it. What was your opinion on What If T'Challa was Star Lord? I liked it. I it was like uh, a good I. Eh, I. I didn't. I didn't as much as everybody else did. For some reason, I thought T'Challa was a bit too perfect. For instance, being able to talk Thanos out of destroying half of the universe. There's a reason why Thanos is called the Mad Titan. Will excuse me, princess. Yeah, technically, since I'm the first, we finished this game, but, uh, Sin didn't see it, and I believe I was 
decided to like, uh, uh, well, I decided to replay some stuff while I, while uh, seeing if anybody had any developmental questions. But after this, we're pretty much done. Just gotta figure out how to get this one to the rat so that we can finish here. Hey. And then basically, as uh, Shade put this up, some of his other companions decided to come in. From G and somebody else. Philip. Philip, ah, yeah. I think I have an idea. What? I see that um, the top one try to get, um, turn the top one over the uh, uh, the one that's on the second layer. The yeah, that one. Turn that one purple as. As it's being lifted up. I don't know how much that'll help, but first I gotta figure out how what. Yeah, I'm trying to think this might be soft lock or something. I'm trying to get this down, but it won't. Let's see, let's Well, poopy. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, you, but you saw most of it anyway. So that was kind of yeah. The, so that was kind of the game. So yeah, this was an interesting change of place. Uh, kind of disappointed in the end. I uh, might be a little bit stupid there. I don't know. But yeah, uh, game is it? The game you can download in the description. In the description if you're interested. And uh, I'll click it out here so they're not listening to to a bunch of stuff. So anyways, that's the end of stream. Uh, this was something new. Just. I tried out. I hope you had a good time. So, this has been Shade, and this is Sin, and we came across some other friends. So, with that being said, you have yourself a good day, and Godspeed, everyone. Take care. Until next time, everybody. Bye-bye! Yep.